Am I just starting? <laughs> Do the stars have anything to say? <laughs> Guide me now. Hi guys, I'm Alex. And I'm Zoya. And welcome to Stardish. This is a show where we're gonna be using the principles of astrology mm -hmm. to cook. People have been using astrology for thousands of years to guide them through life. And we thought, why not let astrology guide us through the kitchen? Something needs to guide us in the kitchen. <laughs> We've got water signs, earth signs, air signs, and fire signs. <laughs> if you were ever born, you're one of those. We are no experts, and we knew that we had to pull out the big gun. So we found the best in the business. Welcome, Lene. Today, we decided to make a three-course meal plus a cocktail pairing based on each element. I love that. First up, we have our dessert, which is gonna be air. They're the Googlers, they're the intellectuals. Like air, they're always able to make their way into any space. If you need to know something and they don't know, give them five seconds and they'll let you know. <laughs> they have the fun outfits, they have the new business idea. They're the friends where you're like, one day we're gonna start a podcast. Ooh! Air's got a lot of big ideas, but would you say they're pretty reliable? I, you know, that's a no. <laughs> So we're starting with our dessert, which is air, because it needs mm. some time to freeze. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna be making is a blood orange granita parfait. I'm gonna start with the simple syrup, adding my sugar and water to a saucepan. A peeler in my kitchen. <laughs> Do you guys know that Zoya is a expert fruit peeler and she refuses to use a peeler? I mean. But look at her. Listen. Back to the dessert. Okay, we have our orange peels I'm gonna dump in here. Those are gonna infuse in the simple syrup, giving us a really beautiful orange flavor. She's squeezing the juice out of this. Now that the sugar has dissolved and we've got the wonderful scent of oranges in the air, come see. It smells so good. We gotta strain those peels out and allow our simple syrup to cool. Do you smell the air I right now? Smell that beautiful <sighs> air sign. Let me add the blood orange juice into the simple syrup. Wow, look how beautiful. And let's let this baby cool. I'll do the honors. Should we do it like high up in no, the air? No, no, Alex, it's hot. Alex, Alex. Put that in the freezer. We're gonna have some whipped lebna here and add a little bit of sweetness to it. Lebna is the nectar of the gods, essentially, Ooh. if you're any sort of Mediterranean or Middle Eastern. It's a thicker version of Greek yogurt, has more fat content, so it has way more flavor. Water it down to make tzatziki, or you could use it in dessert. A little pinch of salt. Always a pinch of salt. Now whip it up. This is air. So we're gonna add air into our lebna by whipping it. You gotta get a little elbow in there. I like to whip it like this. How do you like to whip it? See, I'm already telling her what to do. Because <laughs> then you really get the air in there. Come on, air signs. Look at this, nice and light and airy. Again, lebna is very thick, so mm -hmm. we want to just make it a much tangier whipped mm -hmm. cream. Next up, we have our cocktail, which is gonna be our water, mm -hmm. of course. Water signs, they're strong. They can Ooh, come on strong. So a strong mm -hmm. cocktail. They're also the people where they can dictate the emotions of the room. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. a Cancer, when a Scorpio, when a Pisces does not feel it, the rest of the room is not gonna feel it. Neither of us have water in our big three, at mm -hmm. least. But for now, we're gonna put water in our bodies. In the form of gin. <laughs> we're going to bloom some butterfly pea tea. It is a caffeine-free herbal tea, and it's full of fun surprises. Water going into our beautiful blue ocean of a watery cocktail. I could cry about how beautiful it is. Press it down like you would coffee. Now we're gonna make our simple syrup. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more honey. There you go. So we're also creating all of these recipes with elements that overlap. Very symbolic of how we all overlap in ways. Our hot tea is going to dissolve the sugars in the honey. We have our ice, which as you know, is frozen water. Mm. <laughs> hard water in the cocktail shaker. Don't call it hard water, baby. It's hard water. And adding to the hard water, some lemon juice. Some sour water. Some sour water. Ooh. This, this is, is gin, otherwise gin. known as messy water. Messy water. Like a waterfall. <laughs> this is not the right Shake split. it. Shake it really hard now. You gotta put some flair into it, you know? Yeah. Water signs are all about transformation mm -hmm. and moving through life. We have our cooled butterfly PT. This Cocktail has a really exciting element to it, which is 
transformation. I'm gonna top this off with our sour, messy water. Now for the fun part. We're gonna turn this blue drink into, wow, a purple one. That's pretty. Look at that. That's what was Beautiful. that? If you're a water sign who may be really reactive, you could you could choose differently. Turn a blue room into a purple one. And here's some rose petals. We're gonna top this off. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at these rose petals. Oh, it's so pretty. That's so like pretty. This is the most beautiful cocktail I've ever made. I've spit a lot of facts today, so maybe it's time we get those facts, facts checked. Facts is questionable, <laughs> but let's let's find out. Let She's I... been saying something. Come on in. Oh my Cheers. gosh. Cheers. A transformational Cheers. cocktail. I oh, I love. Them. It's beautiful and it's delicious. I know, it's so beautiful. What's great about astrology is, as long as it's not too far off, mm -hmm. we can we can connect it. Uh, is I, it too far off? Eh. <laughs> you know. I love the transformation aspect of this. I'm gonna reiterate the point that water signs, they definitely command the room. Mm -hmm. They don't feel right within, everybody outside mm -hmm. is yeah. gonna know. What's Earth? Cause that's where we are now. Earth, we love <laughs> Earth. I'm an Earth. Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus. With earth signs, they're definitely the ones where you don't want a cute answer, so you go to them. They're always kind of asking themselves, how can I make this moment easier for myself so oh. that my future is gonna be set up for success? I love that. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing a real good job. Yay. I would say. Thank good you luck. so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll need it. We are making an earth-friendly dish. We're doing a smash pea toast. We're using lots of ingredients from the earth, of course. Peas, which are actually very heart healthy. A lot of Tauruses gravitate towards a food related career mm -hmm. because it's all about these earthly senses. Just a very grounded meal. I'm gonna grab some mint. Some pepper, some salt. So I'm gonna blend. This is the most earthy green I've ever seen. I think we're gonna take our own interpretations of okay. this. My presentation style is definitely more rustic or earthy. We're gonna start with some whippercod on mine. I think it's a better base layer, personally. Well, I'm starting with the earth, which should be the foundation. Look at oh. that. This is like a worm on the earth. Now we're gonna hit it with our fun toppings. Radish are so beautiful. <laughs> they are just such a like cheat code to make things look special. They really are. Pea shoots, the origin of the pea. Is this the origin of the pea? Toasted pepitas. I love pepitas. Pepitas are pumpkin seeds, if you didn't know. Roasted pumpkin seeds. This is how we usually cook, actually. We yeah. collaborate a bit. I am a Taurus, so I'm pretty stubborn in the way I do things. So like, even if she's cooking for me, I'll be like, wait. I don't like anyone in the kitchen. But she's always welcome because she's hot. But besides that, she makes a <laughs> That's mess. That's the only reason. Wow, ta -da! Stunning, first of all. Second of all, stunning. This is very earth. We have mm. like the stability and the brownness of the toast. Oh, I like that. The green earthy elements. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. I like what you said about you being a Taurus and having a rustic presentation, being like, this is a little bit of a mess, but we're gonna make it beautiful. Yes! And it's gonna be intentional. Life. Wow, there you go. <laughs> but while we have you... No, oh, it's... no! <laughs> uh, Hold on, the shoe! Alex! No! <laughs> Ew, it plopped. Uh, right. wait, wait, let him oh. go. Oh, oh, yeah, no, get your shot, yeah. It's rustic. <laughs> it's rustic, guys. <laughs> we're all cleaned up. Now, Linus, can you tell us about our next element, fire? Yes, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Fire signs are the entertainers. They're the party starters. They're the go-getters. Sometimes they move faster than they can think, and that can kind of get them into some saucy situations. Mm -hmm. They're fun, they're flirty, they're the party, and we love them. I'm a little nervous for this next one with her. We're gonna do a big boy ribeye. It's, you cook it over fire. I don't even eat red meat, but I can still cook it better than most people can. How Aries of you. Let's season this and set it aside so Perfect. it can kind of come to room temperature. This will help it get a really nice sear when we're ready. Salt will actually draw out moisture. Both sides. Well, I was gonna do some pepper. You're moving too quick. Fire sign, slow down. Enjoy the process. You're putting too much in that one spot. Oh, sorry. Blanched potatoes. It's important for Aries and fire signs, I think, to sometimes get some aggression out. So what I think we should do with these is smash them. Oh, just enough pressure. Hot. A, a nice mash. I'm sweating. <laughs> do some olive oil. 
For the garlic, you can just leave it whole. We're gonna leave it whole on there. It's gonna roast, you'll pop it right out. Thyme and some rosemary. Herbs have a ton of flavor. Right there with the fire signs. They're not going to let you forget that they're there. Teamwork! Well done, baby. Should we hit it with like a little bit of chili? I think so. I guess so. It's just flavor, it's not even that spicy. Flavor. We're gonna roast these. I use sunflower seed oil for a little bit less smoke, but let's see if that helps. Let's lay this down away Big, from us. Big, beautiful steak. You want that sizzle? Sizzle. We're not gonna move it or touch it. Just let a nice crust develop. Oh, Zoya! Just hype them up. That's all you need to do. Build their confidence and they'll do a lot of things for you. Butter. Every earth sign's favorite food. Every sign's favorite food, I think. I smashed and peeled some garlic cloves. Add those in there. This is just gonna infuse that butter and we're gonna baste the steak with it. And the butter definitely got a little hot. That's okay. If you can't take the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Thank you. No, no, really, just get out of the kitchen. <laughs> now, let it rest. Do not touch it. Pretend it's a fire sign when they first wake up. Don't touch it, don't talk to it, let it rest. <laughs> I love a grilled romaine and so does Alex. It's just a fun take on a regular old salad. All you have to do is give it a little char. We'll add a little bit of salt now and a little red pepper. Oh no. My mouth is gonna be on you can, fire. You can handle it. Let's get some nice cheese. Ooh, hit it with the cheese. So we'll remove the garlic. That herbs. garlic looks really good. Maybe can I eat it? Mm. And we're cutting against the grain. Guys, look at that. Juicy, cooked to perfection. Good job, baby. We're gonna grab the potatoes. Okay. Look how beautiful it is. You've got a lot of that texture in there, like crackly, crunchy pieces, some softer ones. Let's just hit it with a bit more parm. This is beautiful. It does look pretty damn good. That looks so good. I don't need really My good. mouth is wow. watering. Don't worry, Air. We haven't forgotten about you. You floated off, but we're bringing you back. We need some help making the dessert. Yes. I'm gonna float back in. Float back hello. in. Hello, hello. Oh. Let me grab our now frozen granita. Every 30 minutes or so, you wanna mix this up so you can get this nice icy texture. Okay, we're making it work. Perfect. Looks so yeah. good. Teamwork. This is also very airy. Air signs have a lot of layers to them. You oh, think you it. know them and then you don't. We're gonna top it with some lemon. This dessert will keep you guessing. Is it sour? Is it sweet? Is yeah. it everything? Add some mint too. We everything. have everyone represented here. And we have water, we have air, we have earth, we have fire. <gasps> Everything's beautiful too, just like every sign. It all came together to make a delicious meal that we call life. <laughs> do you wanna try some? <laughs> I do. You, that that was beautiful, <laughs> but. Yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, but it's bomb. It's bomb. Is it good? It's bomb. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. We are just getting started. So follow along, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time on Stardish.